Hi there Star Wars Collectors and welcome to another Bosk's Bounty video. So Hasbro Pulse hosted a live stream today on Facebook where they revealed some pretty cool new products both for the Black Series and the Vintage Collection. And if you are a fan of the Black Series then we have loads and loads of high res images to show you. Not so much on the Vintage Collection front but some pretty cool stuff to go through all the same. Now obviously due to the current situation it seems Hasbro will be revealing new products in this way in the near future. So be sure to subscribe for more videos like this and do drop a like to let me know that you've enjoyed it. Now to go along with all the announcements that they made today and all the reveals they did also bring out the information that the archive collection will be carrying on in 2021 and they do actually have a fan vote for the figure that you want to see from the Black Series be put into that archive collection. So I will leave a link in the description below to the Fanta Tracks website. So be sure to check that website out after this video and to submit your vote. <coughs> Commander Cody, <coughs> Commander Cody. So to kick things off, we're going to talk about the one and only reveal from the Vintage Collection. And of course it is the Luke Skywalker in Stormtrooper disguise figure. We got to see the figure and the car back. Now, of course, many of you have already have seen this figure from the Jedi Destiny 3 pack. But it's still great to get the figure on his own car back and using the same image that was used back in the mid 80s on the Power of the Force card. As expected they went with the red name pill and the backing behind the figure rather than using the yellow one from the Tri logo card. The figure and card combo looks great and will fit very very nicely with the Han Solo in Stormtrooper disguise that we got in 2019. The Luke Stormtrooper figure is the final figure in the wave featuring the Power Droid, Commander Wolf and K2SO and of course is up for pre-order on most websites including Hasbro Pulse, In Demand Toys, Star Action Figures in the UK and of course if you're in the US you also have Big Bad Toy Store and Dorkside Toys. Moving on to the Black Series and of course the first figure we do have is the Carbonized Darth Vader. Now I'm not really too sure what to think about this one. It looked pretty good in the packaging. So if you're an inbox collector and you like those carbonized figures, I think it looks pretty decent. The figure in these images out of the packaging, I'm not sure about that blue. I'm just not feeling it really. I think I'm going to pass on this one. I will definitely get the carbonized Boba Fett and the carbonized Stormtrooper, which are the other two figures for the 40th anniversary. But this Darth Vader, I don't know, it's just not doing it for me, but of course, you inbox collectors out there that are going to want the whole set of those carbonized figures for your collection, this one has probably gone down quite well. Next up is something that really did pique my interest, and it's of course the Forlom and Zuckus 2-pack for the Black Series. Again, a 40th anniversary thing. Now this looks just like the 2-pack that they released at the Star Wars Celebration 5 for the Vintage Collection, just in a 6-inch form. Basically, the packaging is pretty much exactly the same. The figures are deco to replicate the original Kenner figures and of course the names are the wrong way round or the right way round depending on which era you were born in which really really does replicate that whole Kenner feel with the figures and the card backs. I absolutely love this set, I can't wait to get it and I do think it's a great way to celebrate the 40th anniversary of The Empire Strikes Back. Another figure revealed as part of the 40th anniversary of The Empire Strikes Back is the Han Solo in Carbonite block on a vintage style card. Now even though I think this looks pretty cool, I think it's a bit of an odd choice given that the original Kenner figure and car back were released using the image of Han Solo hanging on the wall of Jabba's palace on that Return of the Jedi or Power of the Force card back in the day. It looks like they've taken an image or at least created one from the carbon freezing chamber, but I still think this figure would have been better on an original card back and release in maybe 2023 for the 40th anniversary of Return of the Jedi. The next figure revealed for the 40th anniversary was the fan's choice Luke Dagobah and as rumoured this figure does include a Yoda. Now I do like the way that they have created the Yoda to scale so that he doesn't look too out of place when sitting in the backpack on Luke's back. All the other Black Series Yodas that have been released have been slightly bigger and basically out of scale so it's good that they didn't just use one of those molds. The Luke Skywalker figure can even defy gravity and do a one-handed handstand, which is pretty awesome. Apparently the Yoda also has an interchangeable head for different expressions, although it is difficult to see due to the packaging. Finally, we have two six inch black series troopers. First up is the Rogue One Stormtrooper. And I've got to say this thing looks absolutely amazing. Now, it's no secret I do prefer the 3.75 inch figures. 
and I think due to the success of the Rogue One Stormtrooper in the Vintage Collection, it was kind of a no-brainer to put one out in the 6-inch scale. Just looking at the images here, they they really have nailed the Stormtrooper. I think it looks great, and army builders out there are going to go nuts over this one. Moving on to the other trooper that I just mentioned, and this time we have a clone trooper. Now this one is apparently a Kamino clone trooper. Again, an impressive looking figure. I mean, everyone loves a clone, right? I mean, <laughs> everyone just loves clones. Well, I, I certainly do. Um, I love the gray deco on that phase two clone armor. I just am holding out and I'm praying that they release the same figure scaled down as part of the vintage collection because I think this one would look great. The helmet on this one looks to be perfectly in scale, which is something that they definitely need to learn to do in the vintage collection. After the reveals, they did do a short Q&A with the most notable question being about the future of the vintage collection and the 3.75 inch figures in general. Now, Patrick pretty much confirmed that there is lots more to come from the vintage collection over the next few years, which was certainly great to hear. I'm really, really happy that they, that they actually came out and said that in front of however many people were watching. We just need them to back it up with lots more figures. What was clear is that the comment section was full of people requesting more vintage collections. So hopefully they'll look at that comment section and give us what we want. Okay then guys, let me know your thoughts in the comment section below. Drop a like to let me know you have enjoyed this video. And as always, we shall see you on the next one.